One, two, Freddy's coming for you. I give it four out of five scars. Get it? <laughs> Stop. All right. I really wanted to make that joke. So that was Nightmare on Elm Street. What'd you guys think? I I expected it to be super cheesy. And then the first scene happened where Tina is exercised up to the top of the room and there's blood everywhere. Uh, and that yeah, was really yeah. scary. Coming off of... Um, so, so we watched three movies in a batch today. Yes. Coming off of Friday the 13th, which had a very high body count, I'd say that this one was actually really scary... Uh, I would probably say this one was scarier than Friday the 13th because of the suspense that it builds. Even though it's only got a body count of, what, two? Four. Four? Four? Well, I guess the mom, five. Five, No, okay. it's, it's her three friends and her mom. Yeah, but it, it feels like, like less. It feels like well, she's each, in the sequel, I think. She's in the sequel? Each uh, death has okay. a lot of weight to it. And, it, you know, each one is, is very creative, whereas in Friday the 13th, I guess it's kind of creative, but I don't know. I just Wait, felt what? Like... No, those are creative. One is stabbed with an arrow. Yeah, one stabbed, stabbed with a knife. Yeah, one's there's... shot with an arrow. Three uh, arrows. Three, three arrows. Okay. Another one stabbed. Another one an bites axe. the dust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just felt like you know every everybody here. You know every every death kind of felt a lot more weighty than than the last one. I feel like. If you take most of this movie and compare it to most of Friday the 13th, this is probably the better film of the two. But the ending just really kills it for me. Yeah. The ending's kind of really confusing. With the, the the mom being pulled in, she's obviously made of cardboard or something. <laughs> <laughs> that broke but, the spell for me. Because uh, here's the thing. Wes Craven wanted to end with... Nancy turning her back and not being scared of Freddy anymore, and that kills Freddy, and right. she goes about her day. The producers wanted Freddy to still be alive at the end so they could make sequels. So they compromised and had both endings. <laughs> really? <laughs> so it just, I'm like... Maybe this was Inception before it was Inception? Yes. There's like layers of dreams? Well, because she wakes up, he's still <laughs> in the dream world, wakes up again, and is still in a dream. Was there a top spinning somewhere? Why did everybody look at me for that? I don't have a top. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't top that. Take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Strip Monopoly, right? Strip Monopoly. No, that's a Friday the 13th reference. Who plays Strip Monopoly? Teenagers in the late 70s. Well, I mean, you're out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Right? <laughs> Watch sorry. your profanity. Um, that was a a, a a terrible a terrible joke. But yeah, um, the deaths were made. They were less scary for me, but really gross. And uh, especially when Johnny Depp gets killed, and there's a fountain of blood. <laughs> I, yeah, we we kind of we kind of we found a trivia fact early on where Same it was like. like 500 gallons of fake blood were used for the filming of this movie. And I was, he was like, like where, where, did they, where did they use the 500 gallons of fake blood? And we were just, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> I want to know, did Freddy ever get his hat back? Because oh. Nancy takes his hat from him. He doesn't have it in the rest of the movie. But I'm pretty sure he has it in all the sequels. Hmm. That's going to be a movie in and of itself. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy, gets, <laughs> Freddy gets his hat back. Freddy. Yeah, the, the, I think number two is called, like, Freddy's Revenge. It's revenge for taking his hat. Seriously. And, uh... Huh. Probably the, the death that actually... Or the part that scared me, that, like, freaked me out the most is when she looked out... Uh, she was in her classroom, and I'm like, okay, she's going to fall asleep. It's going to be weird. But she looked out the door, and there's Tina and the body bag, like, dripping blood and stuff. That was freaky. Yeah, Tina's the dead one. Oh yeah, Tina's... Wait, which dead one? The, the first, first dead one. The first one. The one where they had really... They first made blood. really... <laughs> Freddy, first blood. I think this came out the same... No, first blood was 82. I should mention, we're doing this slightly out of order, because I'm going to post these chronologically. But I'm going to do Nightmare on Elm Street on the third, even though technically... Don't worry about it. Technically, the final chapter of Friday the 13th had come out before Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh. 
okay, yeah. You were going to post all of these chronologically. Yes. Okay. So, it, well, it's going to be Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. And then from... This is for all you... All you um, People out there. Royal listeners. Uh, tune all, in. All, all from, he, from here on out, it's going to be chronological. Hey. Hey, hey. hey Paul. Hey. Several bad puns later. Don't, don't leave this in the video. <laughs> this is going to be in. I'm just gonna lay on the floor for a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna right, we're Paul. gonna cut out James' terrible, terrible puns. No. Bye, Paul. No, bye. Paul is dead. It's symbolic. Don't of fall the f- asleep. It's symbolic of the fact that he's not gonna be in any more of the Neymar on Elm Street reviews. Oh yeah. Am I not? No, you're you're doing your Friday the Thirteenth and Halloween. Oh. James is doing the Nightmare on Elm Street. Unless I guess you want to join us or something. Well, right. yeah, we might we might try doing Freddy versus Jason together. Yeah, that would be great. That'd it's be... Jason X. What about Jason X? Can I come watch Jason X? <laughs> I mean, sure. It's Jason in space. I don't want to do Spacen. all of the... I don't want... <laughs> yes. Spacen? I don't want to do all of the all of the Friday the 13th movies, but I do want to do uh, Jason X. But you have to do them all. It's for the views. For the views! The sick AdSense. <laughs> Matt has monetized this. Especially after this series, he's gonna monetize it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be... it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> huge. Huge. Um... The greatest president of all time. <laughs> so that's topical, cause by October he won't be president. <laughs> please? <laughs> right? <laughs> please? Please? <laughs> um, Help? I can't. And so... Uh, if and if uh, this is going to be a very very t- uh, relevant reference, but if Kofefe is the nuclear launch codes, please let us know in the past. Uh, yeah, just uh, give us a heads up at uh, one eight hundred. <laughs> uh, please help. One eight hundred. It's June twenty seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, the operators are standing by to take your call. Excellent. I mean, there he is, right over there. There he is. <laughs> um, Hi, everybody. I suppose I should have asked this earlier, but do you guys want to plug anything? Because you got a SoundCloud. Oh, yes. That I link in all of my videos. Yeah, I did the theme song. Uh, I'm doing SoundCloud, and I also have some weird new projects coming up where I bought a synthesizer, and I'm going to make electronic folk music. Please be on the lookout for that. It's a really bad idea, and I'm going to do it anyway. Paul, do you have anything you want to plug? Everything I do is crap. You people you wanna, deserve... You, you want to plug your shitty SoundCloud memes? <laughs> <laughs> you people deserve better than that. <laughs> okay, Paul's not plugging anything. Yeah. Uh, watch Paul in my videos. Yes. Uh, <laughs> watch for me in the... What was it? The Ben and Arthur review. Ben and Arthur. And also in... That is the most amount of lines that I had for... for I meant to put up a blooper reel of that. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was a lot of stuff that we you blew a lot of lines. Because Paul is an actor. Uh, you were yes. in a video. I was in a video. Why don't you write more oh, bad we, we, lines? For we me? collaborated a lot in middle school. Yes, don't look those up. Don't look up. Uh, Just bleep uh, that out. <laughs> Matt, future Matt, put a link right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not family friendly. I'm just gonna bleep it out when they say the name of the ch- Yeah, I'm just gonna create a lot of work for you. <laughs> no, R. I- you R. totally misspelled B. it. You see, my name is Freddy and I'm here to say- For the- what is it? The- <laughs> you on the take away. Yeah. Actually, don't look those up. I have Bieber hair and- uh, <laughs> And no beard? Yeah, no beard. My, At my least you didn't have bangs. Oh, jeez. Well, can you bleep that out? <laughs> <laughs> no, put up a picture of James with bangs. No, no, no. no. I won't. No, thank I won't. you, thank you. Uh, do you have anything else to say about Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, I'll put up a picture of James with bangs. No, you won't. <laughs> right here. Just, just, just call you up. Hey, Paul, can you edit this photo into the video for me? Uh, s- uh, surprisingly good. I thought it would be cheesy. Surprisingly good. Yes, ex- extremely good. Uh, I think it's my least favorite of the three, but it's it's still good. It's still worth watching. I'd say it's probably my second favorite. I'd I say really Halloween like was Halloween was the worst in my opinion, and Friday the Thirteenth was the best. Hmm. I I would go Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street. Really? I go with Paul. 
Uh, yeah, Halloween was great, and it did a, it did a lot of the things first, but I don't think it did it the best. But maybe it's because I was tired. I would have done it better. It would have been better if it was in a theater and not on. These couches are really not comfortable. Yeah, no, we've yeah. been here for five hours. Six hours. Six yeah. hours. Yep. Mm, fun. Time flies watch, when you're having You're going to watch all of these, and I think it's only downhill from here. <laughs> Is it really? Until, at least until Jason X, then it's going, it's only going up from there. The space. Well, yeah, because that's the last one. <laughs> going, going to space. This is, well, then we, then there's the remakes. No! no! We're watching the remakes. No! Next year. No. You got to cut on the no, by the way. Yeah. I think you should cut Well, I, I do want to talk about how good Rob, Robert England is as oh. Freddy. Oh. I think he's the only reason this character's been that endearing. The child murderer that swept the 80s. <laughs> um, he had a rap. He had a rap. Uh, My name is Freddy, and I'm here to say... He says that. That's a line. No way. That's a line. <laughs> What's he here to say? Uh, I'll wrap you up and take you away. No, it doesn't even fit. Uh, oh, he'll rap. He's like, the only. He's the only thing I think is gonna make some of these other movies bearable. Is he in all of them? He's in all of them. Oh, good. He gets cheesier. Probably. Excellent. But I mean, there's a lot to be said for a good villain. I think the only reason the child movies have endeared as long as they have because the child mo play child's play movies are really bad. It's because they're not fun. They're not scary. Brad Dorif is a great villain. That's the one with Chucky. Oh, I thought that was the one with Michael.